In this video, I'm gonna show you three common mistakes people make when they train with kettlebells and we can draw from reality because we had a great coaching session where these three mistakes happened with our participants. But before we get started, I have a gift for you. 30 days filled with kettlebell workouts for free. Check the first link in the description. <laughs> Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag hier. This live session was awesome and it's part of our Academy course bundle. I want to explain this for a second if you're interested in joining one of these sessions. If you sign up for one of our kettlebell courses, you get the ability and the chance to join our monthly live kettlebell coaching sessions for free. Yes, it's part of the bundle. Throughout the whole year, you'll have the ability to join us, gain feedback and live form checks from me, your coach. If you're interested, you find the link down in the description to our academy where you can check out our courses and join the waiting list for a particular course that you're interested in. So before we jump into the three common mistakes, I'm going to explain the workout first to the group. And that's a powerful workout that you can do at home if you want to. Three exercises. Listen closely. Exercise number one is the deadlift. Exercise number two is the rack squat. And exercise number four is the press. We do eight deadlifts, six rack squats, and four presses. Everything with the same side. So we start with the left side. Once you have done all these three exercises, we switch sides. And then we do the same thing on the other side. The timer will run for six minutes and you will do as many sets as possible during these six minutes. You don't have to run, you don't have to outpace yourself, you can just take your Time. We're gonna do a single hand deadlift since we're using uni uh, a unilateral exercise. So we start with the left hand first. So what I wanna do is you place the kettlebell in front of you. You have a shoulder width stance over the kettlebell. So now that I look down, I can see that the kettlebell is placed approximately alongside the middle of my foot. So now I am hinging. This means I am pushing my hips back. I sit back. My upper body leans forward. My spine stays straight. Now with my left hand, I want to grab the kettlebell, so I have to bend the knees a little bit, sit back a little bit more, so then I come up, that's one, that's two. After these eight reps, we switch into the rack squat. This is going to be a tough one. So what does the rack uh, squat look like? You place the kettlebell a little bit in front of you, and then we have to clean the bell up first. So when we clean it, I want to make sure that when you clean the bell up, elbows close to the body, and the kettlebell points toward your heart. What does that look like? Watch me. That's one, two, three. So now I have the elbow close to my body and my fist is pointing towards my heart. I have my feet slightly turned out to the left and to the right. Now I push my chest out. Now I hinge a little bit and then I start bending the knees and I make sure I stay as upright as possible. That's two. And then of course we do four reps. From this position, we go into the last exercise, the press. So now we have already a strong and stable position. So what I do now is, that's one, that's two, and then we do four reps of these. If you use a heavier kettlebell, you can do, if you want to, a push press. So instead of stricting it up, if you think, okay, I need a little bit power from the legs, boom. Use your legs. So that's eight deadlifts, six rack squats, and four presses. So after the explanation was done, we went to work and it was awesome. I write down on my notes what I see and then in the breaks, I take my time to give you some proper coaching. Now here come these three common mistakes and I bet that many of you probably engage into one of these mistakes as well. So I truly hope that this video is gonna help you find a better solution. So with the press, uh, maybe this has to do with the ceiling, right? I see that you're very close to the ceiling. It looks like you're doing this. So it seems like maybe the weight is a little bit heavy. The idea is the following. Now watch my arm is going. The arm goes here. Boom. Biceps close to the ear and my shoulder, I pull it back a little bit. So this opens up this whole area. Maybe if you're tight in this area, you're gonna feel it. So now in the second round, you wanna try, maybe use your legs a little bit like you did before. But once you come up, don't stay up here. Pull your arm back a little bit. When you get up in the deadlift, really, Extend the hips and look towards the horizon. Your neck is an extension of your back. So wherever your back is going, this is where your neck is going. It's going down. 
Now it's going up, okay? Don't, don't keep that position tucked in here and don't have the broken neck position up here. When we are in the rack position, imagine it's like boxing, okay? So I always want to protect myself. But if I go down into a rack squat, of course, I have to hinge a little bit. So connection goes away. But don't overdo it, okay? It's just a little bit. And once you come back, come back up, boom, back into your hips. One thing that I saw, it's a minute detail. And that is when we are pressing, okay? It's a solid and straight press. But once you come up, watch, do not lift the shoulder up. Keep the shoulders down. When you are in a press, think about screwing your arm into the shoulder blades. You don't have to lift your shoulder up. Your shoulder stays down because that's a strong and solid position. And as a bonus goodie at the end, I want to share with Ola, one of the participants who joined the class, who is now getting certified with Lebestag, had to share. It's exactly the reason why we do what we do. I just want to say that, of course, I enjoy it. It's amazing to meet with you and actually be connected as well. So Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, and oh, I that... can't wait to see you next week. Yes, next week we have a session, most definitely. Yeah, looking forward to it. So here's the next thing that you have to do. You have to like the video, consider subscribing, share this with a friend who's also interested in kettlebell training, and then check out our academy. These powerful courses that we offer with the ability to join the monthly live kettlebell group classes via Zoom. Check out the academy right here. Click on the card right now.